Okay, guys. I was supposed to do this uh, yesterday, but uh, some things uh, happened. I <laughs> wasn't able to. But doesn't matter now because we are doing it today. Okay, so we are doing the U.S. Postal Service off of Alameda and Buckley. Uh, I wanted to do this one because uh, they have a 1.7 uh, rating on Google, which is horrible. Absolutely, absolutely horrible. Um, we've gotten complaints stating that they yell at customers. The lines are extremely long. Uh, uh, the, the managers treat the customers worse than the employees, which is horrible. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna get some answers and uh, hopefully the postmaster is here. I'm thinking this is the headquarters, I believe, for the Aurora Colorado branch anyway. So we're gonna see what's gonna go down and uh, see if they respect our right to record. Our First Amendment Protective Act and uh, hopefully they don't violate our rights while we're still gonna try to get questions answered on why customers are being treated so unfairly. Okay guys, we are here. Let's see. This, um, let's see if this is the Postal, yep, this is the Postal 7 right here. back it up a little bit just seen it oh here we go the whole postal seven here we go photographs for news purposes they be taken in entrances lobbies foyers corridors and auditoriums when used for the public, meaning except for when prohibited of officials, uh, signs of security force personnel. So basically, it, it can only be done for news purposes. It can't be done uh, for commercials. It, it, it could be, but you have to uh, probably talk to their uh, uh, media uh, source person on that particular part. So this is actually 2016. Postal 7, August 2016. It's uh, 2020, they need to update their postal service. So I'll, I'll, I'll mention that to them too. All right guys, let's, hit it. let's head in. So guys, these are the mailboxes, uh, PO, PO boxes. So, um, and I'll try to get that pricing done as well to see if, uh, how much is that a month? Cause some, sometimes, you know, people don't want mail coming in to their direct address. So, um, they just want to pick up the mail from the actual Pacific Post Office. Uh, postal Patreon's box mail is available after 12 noon. They're open Monday through Saturday. And I believe they they uh, started opening Saturdays. I think they I think they started doing that about a maybe two years ago. It used to be Monday through Friday, but it's Monday through Saturday the services are. No meal on Sunday or holidays. Okay. All 
Okay, they are hiring. So if anybody is interested in working at the uh, U.S. Postal Service to help their numbers get up, www.usps.com employment. All right. Okay, so what I have here is um, the uh, the 2018 uh, DHS memo where it states I can actually uh, record in a federal facility, whether it be uh, the people owning the actual building or even if it's leased out to a particular plaza so 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 Also, I brought the um, Bain Act as well. guys ever heard of the Bain Act, but it, um, prohibits anybody from, um, doing a constant federal constitution or state constitution act in which they can be held liable civilly. Get that out real quick. Uh, let's see. The Bain Act. Civil Code Section 52.1. The Bain Act provides protection from threats, intimidation, coercion, or attempts to interfere with someone's state or federal statutory or constitutional rights. The rights include the right to be association and assembly due process, education, employment, equal protection, expression, formation, enforcement of contracts, holding a public office, housing, privacy speech, travel, use of public facilities, voting, worship, and protection from bodily restraint or harm from personal insult, from defamation, and from jury, uh, and from injury to person, personal relations. Proof of hate motivation is required. The Bain Act provides for civil penalties. That's why I said uh, perpetrator civil remedies, uh, victims of hate crime violence, three times actual, uh, three times actual damages, but no less than a thousand dollars. So, um, let me see, I think I have some more.
about that. That's probably going to be really loud. Okay. Restraining orders and inject, uh, injunctive on other <laughs> equitable relief violation of which is punishable by criminal contempt action with a penalty of six months in jail and or fine exceeding a thousand dollars and attorney treats. Speech alone is not sufficient to support action under the uh, the Bain Act unless the speech uh, threatens violent, uh, violence. So basically you can't use a threat in your speech or any type of hate speech. And the person or group of persons against whom the threat is directed responsibly fears that violence will be committed against them or their property and the person threatening violence has the ability to carry out the threat. because I wanted to make sure the verbiage was clear on how to orchestrate uh, the First Amendment audits, uh, particularly in a federally owned facility. This is just education. Hopefully uh, we'll have a good interaction like we did yesterday. Um, but if we don't, then um, we'll have to uh, educate them for free 99. Points are real. These lines are incredibly long. Uh, they need to treat our buildings better, that's for sure. It's kind of dirty in here. And this is out. Yeah. Look at that. I need to put that back. Um, if they're fixing something on the building, you need to definitely put that back. So. Uh, we have somebody from the U.S. military. Okay. This is the boring part.
It's just, uh, these lines are super long. Are you saying Super long. This for y'all. I do this for freedom. I do this for my for my child. I do this for your children. So by the time they're adults, they don't have to fight freedom like you're currently doing right now. You've done all the work for them. Just like. Our ancestors done for us. So, also they also have self-serving machines. Like you see right over there. Just don't want to necessarily wait in line to talk to an associate and just go ahead and self serve. Also have the uh, postal seven right there too. Okay, so let's get a little closer up right here. Metered letters, stamped letters, stamped larger than letters, and metered larger than letters. So just in case you need to mail those there, there's a station for that. So, by the way, this particular lobby is open 24-7. The inner lobby in there, so the lobby that I'm currently in right now is open 24-7 to the public. That's why they have the self-serving uh, uh,
so they do have the thank you for your appreciation, social distancing. So. You need that? No. Definitely more employees. No dogs allowed. Schools closed. Let me know if you're going to lobby at any time to stand and clear the clerks. If you are the eighth customer of Harvard and Line, I need to have you step out. Okay, so this is not to be the, the yelling part. Am I the... <laughs> so that's a serious question. I don't... Next time tonight is the USP takes okay? You can take the takes on your Okay, thank you. Okay. 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 So this is the part when uh, it said uh, them yelling at customers, stating that uh, I have to be a certain amount of people in the facility. Me? Am I on? All of us. Oh, oh, oh. I guess there's only supposed to, eight, supposed to be eight people in here. In the, That's what I was wondering too. Which is utterly ridiculous because we have the, the thing right there. But okay, whatever. No, no, you're fine. Thank you for letting us know. That is true. It says only 10 people. Didn't it just say eight? It said eight people. It said. <laughs> but he didn't check that one. He should have said only the two that were in here and then eight people left. It doesn't say that. It says only 10 people allowed in the interior. It didn't say anything about staff, including staff, or anything. They need to be a little bit more specific on their sign. <laughs> Just saying, I'm, you know, just pointing that out, you know.
holiday hours. And that's the
anxious, huh? Oh, <laughs> like, like devil's ass. Like, yeah. I don't know. Yes, ma'am. Can I get a stamp, please? You can, but why you got me record? Uh, it's actually uh, I'm I'm, out, I'm allowed to do that. Postal seven. Okay. Yeah. So. But. Can I get my stamp, please? Okay, that's fine. But I don't want to be on record. Well, I'm sorry. Then you shouldn't be working in the public. Okay. You can, can step to the side. Somebody else can help you. That you're not gonna do. Oh, so now, are you refusing me service? Yeah. Can I uh, talk to I'm the postmaster? He has sharp eyes. I didn't see all those little kids. <laughs> oh, pulse. It's set. It's, it's policy. It's. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go, guys. Can I speak to the postmaster, please? Postmaster, you have to set an appointment. I'm sorry, what? You have to set an appointment. So is the postmaster not here? To talk with the postmaster. Okay. You're the postmaster? Did you say you want to speak with the postmaster? Yes, or a supervisor. You have to set an appointment. 
Why would I have to set an appointment to speak okay, to this person? Talk to the supervisor right there. You're the supervisor? Yeah. Can I speak with you? You have a badge? Um, yeah, so on your postal seven, it states that. I'm asking you if you have a badge because you can't record in here, sir. A badge for what? Law. Do you have a badge? You're badge recording. for what? You can't record federal employees. Uh, actually, I could. Actually, I brought receipts. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and leave because you cannot record. Yeah, well, I've, I've, I've actually brought receipts on that. Receipts on what? Uh, where I'm allowed to record in the I'm federal not, building. And not only that, if you don't allow me to record, you're, you're violating a, a Bain Act. Have you ever heard of that? Do you have a badge? A badge for what, sir? You, to specify that you can record us. Are you talking about credentials? You can't record, yeah, you cannot record. First of all, that's clients. the First Amendment. Okay. There, there's so no I'll be right back and I'll get my postmaster so then she can have you. Yeah, that's fine. Get the postmaster. <laughs> uh, yes, I can, sir. Now I understand why they have a 1.7 rating. <clears throat> Check out the stamps. Is I don't even have PTSD stamps. Yeah, man. That's dope. Uh, uh, I don't even have a hip hop stamp. That's even more dope. It's a shame that um, these employees are not educated on the Postal 7 where I'm allowed to record, you know, it's crazy. Absolutely not so. Sir, are you the postmaster? Uh, no, I'm the manager. I can help you. 
You're the postmaster? I'm the manager. Oh, the manager? Okay. So basically, I was trying to educate your employee. First of all, I wanted a stamp, and I was refused service by this young lady here. Okay. Um, and not only that, uh, I, w I wanted to speak with the postmaster or the manager that was a part of this facility. Okay. The thing is, uh, you guys have a one point. Uh, okay, well, first of all, are you guys educated on the First Amendment Act? Yes, I am. Okay, so why isn't she educated on Postal 7, which is actually outdated? It's 2016, and you guys need to update your uh, your Postal 7 to 2020. Okay. I'm just letting you know. This, this I'm one. not arguing with you or anything. Yeah. So, um, and I'm being completely respectful. I'm not okay. yelling. We're having a conversation. Yeah. Okay, so uh, not only that, but... Um, there, you guys are rated 1.7, and which is horrible, by the way. Um, stating that customers haven't been receiving their mail, uh, 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 the, the, the employees have been yelling at the customers, extremely long lines, which actually it's been exhibited what we're witnessing right now. But if you if you pay attention to the signs on that window, it also states seven people in the lobby. All my clerks are up here because I don't have any extra clerks in back. Sure. One call in sick. They're following CDC guidelines, so I mean, they, I can't do anything about C it. CDC to guidelines has nothing to do with photography, sir. It, it does right now because that's all I can allow in this lobby. Okay. That's why the so, get to, they okay, stay we're up. talking about federal law, and I would okay. like to, and here, and I don't know if you're familiar with that, and I would love to give that to you. Uh, this is where it states uh, exterior. This is the exterior. And the Not only that, but if if so all uh, this if stuff a, is, is talked about your photography, I already understand. I'm a, I'm an attorney, so I already understand the First Amendment. Okay, so so why isn't she educated on the the First Amendment? Because her job has nothing to do with the First Absolutely, Amendment. she's a public servant, sir. Okay, no, we, we aren't public servants. We're yes, you are. If you work for if you're if you're if you're a federal employee, you are a, a public servant. Who who pays? For the uh, USPS, Our customers do. Not right. The so the public, right? Okay. The public. So who who funds the uh, uh, the customers do? Not who fund who? So sir, the government does sir, not fund. The, actually, yeah, they do. Okay. So, um, it's so the federal government. We're not we're not going to have a conversation all day about what can I help you solve. I would like to buy a stamp, okay. and I would like you to treat your customers a lot better. Okay. And not only that, they need to get their packages and stuff on time. So that has nothing to do with you. Absolutely, it does. No, it doesn't Absol I'm an investigative journalist. Okay. So. Congratulations, that's great. And I'm doing this and for we do, news we purposes. We do our best to make sure our customers get them on time. The moment we get them in our building, we get them delivered to our. Customers. It's 1.7 reviews, sir. That's okay. horrible. Have you even okay. looked at your reviews, sir? You haven't because you don't care. And that's, that's a problem. And that's care, and that's so. why I'm, I'm trying to bridge the gap here. Okay. I'm trying to have a conversation with you. You're, and, I, and, you're, I'm, and I'm trying to have it with you. We'll be glad to sell you your stamp. I'll, okay. I'll be yeah, glad I, to I do want that. First moment. Right. They know that you're allowed to video and allowed to record. The, and she didn't. She's, okay. She she so totally did she, not serve me. So here, she needs so to I'll, be I'll that So she probably needs to be reprimanded. For right. that. I'll talk to. Or her. educated yeah. on that. It's more of an education. Thing. I'm sorry. It's more of an education thing. Yeah. I mean, is there a video on you guys uh, as far as? teaching about the First Amendment or anything like that? That's a problem. It's on your Postal 7. Not only that, it's federal law. Okay. Okay? And then not only that, if you violate that, you're, you're violating the Bain Act. Okay. Do, do you know what the Bain Act is? Huh? I'm aware, okay. I'm aware of what world our policy yeah, So you're familiar with that? Yes, sir. It was not a policy. It's a law, uh, which is actually case law. But, um, but what I'm saying is that we have to do better as far as you treating the people right in this in this community. Okay, can we can we agree on that? And not only that, but can can you start looking at your reviews so we can get those those views up as far as recommended? We have our own processes that we follow here. So I, mean, I, I, I follow what processes I need to follow. So who checks? Is that the postmaster's duty as far as checking the reviews on there and, um, and commenting with the customers, well, saying customer, that you know I'm sorry about your bad experience here. And we'll we do, do better. We have we have a process that we follow in regards to the customers we talk to to follow complaints. Yes. And 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 what's that, sir? 
that's in regards to unfortunately that's none of your business. Okay, so I'm doing this again. I'm doing this for the okay, I'm yeah. free press. I am I'm an investigative I journalist. Know, but that doesn't mean I have to give you our, our, our information. I mean I, I have to I'll answer whatever questions you have, but if it has, doesn't pertain to you personally, then it does. It didn't uh, it, sir, I say I'm a journalist. Okay. Journalist. I'm here for the people for we the people, sir. Okay. And I and I care about my customers and when customers have issues. They come up and they talk to me. I do my best to solve their issues. Okay. So where's the postmaster at? Postmaster is in the meeting. In the meeting right now? Yeah. Okay. When is he available or she? Uh, I have no idea. I can take your information and then I'll have her give you a call and she can schedule something up with you. Uh, I can give, uh, uh, I'd rather get an email. Okay. So do you mind if I uh, just leave my email? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And again, sir, I'm not trying to be uh, a jackass I'm, I'm not, or anything I'm not, like that. I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I'm trying. Either, but I'm, uh, I'm trying to literally, you know, and, and my that's, kind of that's demeanor. Fine as well. But I mean, I, you can't say that I don't care about my customers because when they come I, up here, I, I try to solve no, their no, problems as best as I can. Well, right. But what I'm saying is that if if people don't uh, look for the reviews and, and respond to the well, customers see, we, on we have reviews that we get that I look at that they send us from headquarters. So there are reviews that I do look at, and we also have. You know, our customer cases that, that come in daily, actually hourly, that we pull up, we contact the customer, we try to do our best to resolve the issue, and, and we go from there. I mean, our customers obviously matter to us. And not only that, but... wouldn't be in business. And not only that, and I've actually witnessed this today, uh, the employees yell at the customers. In regards to what? Uh, as far as... Uh, <clears throat> Of, of how many people can be in here okay. and all that type stuff. It says 10 people, but they said eight. No, it says 10 people, including... Um, well, they including... need to be more specific on that. Okay. They need to say two employees, including two two employees, so customers understand. When you say 10, it's it's kind of... It's kind of vague. No, no, so I if, if that. so, but if you can, those are those are the ones the postal service sends us. Those are the ones we, we hang out. Well, I'm just saying, you're a manager. Maybe mm -hmm. you can hint that idea. Yeah, I, it wouldn't I don't hurt, right? With that. Yeah. Yeah. So but just I mean, be just to be more specific, because we want to give people understand that you know due to COVID we have to follow certain CDC guidelines, and I agree. Oh uh, no, I took and respect that. But what I'm saying, the 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 law trumps all that. So what I'm saying is that we we have to have clear, articulable. Uh, instructions on when it comes to the public and how to treat the public and what the public is allowed to do and not only that but your employees have to be educated on this situation. It's important because we don't want because see what if she would have called the police right and then she would have called two armed uh, personnel to, to come harm me all because I'm doing the first uh, protected okay, so uh, first amendment protected act. All right, so, I mean, I understand that, and I understand what you folks are out there for. Okay, and I appreciate that, sir. You know, because I, I was a cop for 12 years, so I, and I understand, and it's good that, you know, they have everything on video these days. Yeah, I'm just doing this. You know, and, and, hey, and I, I can appreciate that, because, you know what, education is a key part of doing this job and doing any job. So right, I mean, and, and not only that, there's, there's older people that I do this for as well, mm -hmm. uh, or disabled people. A lot of people don't know there's this self-servicing machine. Oh yeah. Um, so I go and educate. I go to di a different governmental. My supervisor's actually out there helping folks with that. Right. Because that's that's why I actually have a supervisor that you know stand that works out in the lobby that sure. actually helps customers out there. And now that's part of the customer service too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's certain things that we used to do that we can't do, unfortunately, because of COVID. So sure. We're trying to help. You know, and, and sure. most of our customers understand. And, sure. Sure. My, you know, so my viewers uh, who are uh, probably in. Um, uh, physically impaired yeah. or can't make it up here mm -hmm. they'll know now like okay so this this uh this lobby here not this lobby but the lex lobby is open 24 hours so now i can just go and do self-services yeah no and, and most customers do it because our actual our self-service is, is is very busy yeah so i, I just said so i'll go ahead and put my contact information yeah absolutely uh, i'll be sure to give it to her, her name is angela by okay yeah, because I went to the Colfax, uh, the Colfax and Chambers one, and they did great. They passed with flying colors. They understood. At first, the one guy he said, "Well, it's a federal law to record me," and I said, "No, that's incorrect. No, yeah, that's incorrect. That's not." And then he was, and then there was a young lady that corrected him who worked with him. He's like, "He has every right to record." That's the whole thing, just like you said. It's all about education, you know, because. You know, a lot of this is still new to people that, you know, they don't understand that you, you're, you're more welcome to record. So my email is k.copwatch at gmail.com. 
and she can refer to me as KD. And all lowercase too. Okay. All right, and I would like to buy a stamp. And um, so I'll have to have one of them sell it because the clerks have to sell the stamps. Okay. On you, so give me one minute, okay? okay, no problem. Thank you. And thank you for your, uh, your, your, your professionalism, oh, sir. Welcome. All right. Mm, that's how you get it done. That's how you get it done. Okay. Thank you, sir. Right. He claims to be, he used to be an attorney and he works here. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Are you ready, sir? Yes, sir, I am. I like to uh, uh, buy, uh, you said, uh, I think they're like 55 cents? Yeah, 55 cents. Yeah. Cent. yeah. Just it, I like to buy two. Two? Yes, sir. If you don't mind, I appreciate if you didn't record me. Uh, well, that's, I just talked to your supervisor about it, and he has, a, you said I have every right to record. Uh, I don't consent to you recording. Well, that, that, you have to talk to your supervisor about that, sir. So can I please have my stamps, please? He just, he just said it was fine for me recording. Ah, here we go. I'm sorry, who are you? I'm sorry, who are you? Who are you? You're not going to know who I am. You're going to stop I just want to buy stamps. That's all I want to do. Okay, put your phone away. The supervisor just said I, I was able, the manager said I was able to do so. All I want to buy is stamps. I'm sorry, are you talking to me, sir? Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you buy the stamp, man, let me get, get, get an extra one so I don't have to wait. I'll pay you for it. How much are you? Yeah, sir, I just wanted to buy stamps. That's yeah, it. No, no, since you're up there buying the stamp, give me one. That's all I'm here for. How yeah. much are you? Do you know the price of one stamp? One stamp is 55 cents. Come on, give me a stamp. I'll give you 55 and cents. If That's fine. I just want to buy the stamps. To record, then they will get yeah, them but ma'am, it states, ma'am, 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 you're causing a disturbance. Oh, no, 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 no. First of all, it states on your policy that it care, states that. I didn't give you permission to record. Well, it's too late. Don't work for the public. I just wait. Simple as that. <laughs> That's all I want to do is get my stamps and leave. But you won't even. You're so. Uh, uh, so offended because you're scared of a camera. No, it ain't that. I, that's my rights. Ma'am, you're a public that's servant. Ma'am, you're a public servant. It don't matter. Let me snap a picture of you so I can let my attorney know. Because I'm not supposed to play these guys. You're you messing with the wrong one. Can I please get, <laughs> grab my stamps and go, please? Can you stop recording us, please? Nice, but so it, are you refusing me service then? No, I'm not going to refuse you. Okay, well, I'd like to get my stamps sir, and go. Are two stamps or not? I just said, excuse me, who are you yelling at? Who are you yelling at? I just talked to the manager, ma'am. He said it was fine. I'm within my rights to do so. I just want to get my stamps and leave. No wonder why you guys got 1.7 negative reviews. This is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. Stop it. Like I didn't write the laws, ma'am. I didn't oh, write the laws. Dollar ten cents. That's all you want. Two stamps. Two stamps. All this over two stamps. Boy, you gonna yeah. Give me an extra fifty-five cent. Get an extra so I can buy one from you. How many stamps did you get? Like I just said two, ma'am. It's on. It's on record. Give them three. I give you fifty-five cents. 
Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. She's she's not even educated on on the. Uh, it's post. No, on the. I didn't say educated in general. I said on the postal seven. Thank you, sir. I put my card in. Do I need to do I need to redo it or? Okay. Okay, take it out. And I'll let you know when to put it in. Thank you, sir. Get out of here. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No, that's it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you. And thank you for your professionalism. Okay. So it's asking you to print and enter um, an option. Want me to sign it? No, you don't have to sign it. It's just asking if you want to. Oh, print only. Yeah, that's fine. So as you were stating before, the way that we get our surveys and, and our reviews and the way we get them here is for you to take this survey down here at the bottom. Numbers right here. Just let us know how we do for you. Well, okay. I can only know how you did. What's your name, sir? My name is Robert. I'm sorry. Robert. Robert? Yes. I'll, I'll give you it, but everybody else failed for you. Well, and that's, that's what the surveys are for, because that's actually what I get, and that's how I know how we do it. Okay. Well, Robert, I appreciate you and, can, and appreciate your professionalism. Right, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. All right. Thanks a lot. Oh, wait. I forgot my stamps. Where's the stamps? Huh? Oh, right here. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, have a nice day. Okay, that was an ultimate fail, 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 upon fail. How you doing, sir? Yeah, uh, this postal service is absolutely horrible. Uh, they don't, they're not educated in the Postal 7. They're not educated on uh, photography in public, uh, which is essential. Um, it's crazy because that black lady was finna call the police on me. Uh, which is, you know, we already have enough issues dealing with police as a black man at, as it is. So, man, disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Uh, I will be back to do another audit uh, probably next year to see if they actually uh, have a better attitude next time. Or maybe it might be sooner. Maybe I might come back here and uh, do a mass audit and have several people recording with me. Um, but yeah, th it was, this was, wow. It, they were almost about to do good. And then she comes out and starts tripping. Do not record me and blah, blah, blah. And get out of here, lady. Um, so I'm pretty disappointed in her. Uh <clears throat> But Robert did good. He was professional. Uh, I thought we were able to have a, a dialogue. Uh, I, I at least informed him that he has issues in his facility that he needs to fix. And he needs to educate his employees. Okay? Uh, so we don't have issues like this anymore. Okay? And not only that, but there's several cameras in the actual facility. Several, several cameras in the actual facility. So I, I don't understand. They're allowed to record us, but we can't record them. They're allowed to hold us accountable, but we're not allowed to hold them accountable. Oh, she was pissed when I called her a public servant. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, enough of my rant. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again, 
This is the U.S. Postal Service on Alameda and Buckley. Hold on, let me, let me get a close-up of Alameda. I can't get a close-up of Alameda. Ah, come on. That's acting too big. Okay, Alameda and Buckley. <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, it's unfortunate um, that it was a, a failed audit. I was really uh, hoping that they would do a, a better job at uh, um, adhering to their own policy. And not only that, their own laws. <laughs> and I even had paperwork. I had paperwork. And maybe he was an attorney. I don't know. I don't know why he would not be an attorney anymore and work be his manager at the United States Postal Service. I don't know. Maybe he retired. I'm, I'm not really quite sure. But uh, he he knows the laws. He knows. He knows I wasn't lying. I had, and I also had receipts. I had I had paperwork to prove it. Um. So my advice to all. My advice to all postal workers, if you don't want to be recorded, then you probably shouldn't work for the public, okay? You probably shouldn't be a public servant, okay? And not only that, she had her mask on, <laughs> so I couldn't get her full face even if I wanted to. Um, and that whole bullshit when he was talking about the CDC guidelines, total bullshit. Uh, it had nothing to do with public photography, and he couldn't even uh, articulate that. Um, but, again, this is another audit. Guys, if you love my videos, if you support what I do, uh, please, you know, for anybody who's new to my channel, please subscribe. You know, click that notification button, okay, and share my videos, you know. And if, uh, if you want to, uh, donate to my, my cash app or my uh, PayPal um, if, if you want. That's totally if you want to. If you really support me, I'm really trying to uh, be consistent with doing these, having a few videos for you at least uh, <coughs> every week. Um, so, again, if you love what I do, support me. I'll keep fighting for you, keep fighting for your freedom, and uh, that's it. I love you guys. I really do. Um, like I said, stay vigilant, stay recording, love one another. Um, it's your boy DJ K. Dot, and I'm out. One.